So, I remember back in mid-2016, maybe like autumn of 2016, Donald Trump was doing a press conference or something, and somebody had a baby there. And the baby starts crying, and he says, oh, look at that, one of our, one of our precious babies here in America. I love babies. Come on, bring them up here. And the lady's like, wait, are you, are you sure? And he's like, what are you kidding me? Of course not. Get him out of here. And I thought, that's a real, just a dick move on his part. There's no way I would vote for this guy. And I wasn't really on the Trump train. I wasn't really pro-Trump, but I wasn't really anti-Trump either. I was kind of neutral. I know that I was anti-Hillary, and I was not really digging Bernie either. He was freaking me out with his capitulating to BLM and all of that. But then I saw the frothing and the rhetoric of the left. I saw the way the left was being about things, and I was like, okay, pretty much anything that goes against them and what they're doing has got to be the right thing because these people are acting like totalitarians that it, it you know they they say that they're a liberal but then they talk about you can't you can't you can't you can't say this let's stop people from saying that let's ban people who say this you know and that's not what liberals do being liberal by its own name implies that you're pretty cool with just about everything. Live and let live, you know? But these leftists, they weren't liberal. They were, I don't know, they were ideological about their leftism. They were kind of insane about it. These people saying stuff like, if you are a heterosexual male and you won't date a woman just because she's got a penis, then you're transphobic. Well, that's kind of creepy, actually, and that's definitely not a liberal mindset. That's more of a, we're going to make you do this mindset. That's a totalitarian mindset. That's an authoritarian mindset. These people who say Trump is a dictator, they're going around acting like dictators. And I don't understand how, I mean, people see it, yes, but how these people don't see it. I mean, I check myself every single day to make sure that I'm not going too ideological. I think, you know, was that, was that last tweet a little too far on the right? Am I starting to look like a nutcase here? I, I actually actively check myself all the time. And it freaks me out that other people don't seem to have this self-awareness. You know, these I'm with her people wearing the, wearing the pussy hats and walking around going, my body, my choice, and uh, all of these other little chants that they do. I don't think that they're ever looking in the mirror to see if it is indeed them that's staring back at them or their ideology. I'm going to say right now, I implore all of you out there, do this multiple times a day. Look at what you're saying and just flip it over to the other side. You know, if, if what you're saying is right wing, imagine a lefty saying it. Imagine you saying something about Trump and then put the name Hillary in there. Imagine a leftist said it and... It, and if you would get offended, probably don't say it. You get it? There are bad people on both sides. The people who say 
you know, instead of Obama, they say, oh, bummer, and are the same people that say Donald Trump is a carrot and an orange bastard, whatever other dumb orange meaning things they add to him. It's all the same. It is all the same. People who hate the right and people who hate the left, they're the same. I love conservatism and I love liberalism. Um, recently, Facebook came out or somebody discovered that Facebook keeps, a, keeps tabs on you and on what you're doing. And Facebook even has me labeled as a moderate. And that's what I am. I'm on both sides and I'm on neither side. And that's just how it is. I'm on the side of right. I'm on the side of correct. I'm on the side of factual. I am not on the side of an ideologue. And I'm certainly not on the side of victimhood. I'm not on the side of my way or the highway. I think gun reform is fine. I think that there are certain things that we need to be better at when it comes to guns, but gun control, a gun ban, well, that has been already proven in a number of places to not work and to make things worse. See, facts, facts and numbers are what work. Take this to heart, people. Look in the mirror, check yourself every day. If you liked this message, please like, hit that like button, share this, and as always, subscribe using the watermark or hitting the subscribe button somewhere on this page. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this world. Come on, crazy people. In the meantime, I'm going to let you go. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.